And you'll probably remember the COVID pandemic pushed a big surge of people to try camping and to go RVing. Well, this year that trend is expected to continue to grow as people decide to take their family show on the road. Paula Tutman is at the 28th annual Port Huron Camping and RV Show. Paula, we're going RVing. Look at the, these folks don't care about the weather. They're Michiganders. The weather outside might be frightful, but I'm going to take you inside where it is quite delightful. We're talking about a house on wheels. Where do you see this thing, Christy, and everybody else? Full kitchen. It's actually a one and a half bedroom, full bathroom. And if you are into this kind of thing, and a lot of people are really getting into this, wait till you hear what the price is. These aren't your granddaddy's wheels, but the nostalgia is there. Airstreams, with their nearly no maintenance and retro appeal, they look the same as they did decades ago, but inside, it's a whole different vibe. Pop-outs that put road trips at the financial fingertips of more and more households. And of course, the tricked out fancy, is this an apartment or an RV? Recreational vehicles. RVing is big business in Michigan. We are the fifth largest state in the nation for RV shipments. We have over 1,300 licensed campgrounds in Michigan. Joel Defoe popped in with his youngins and sees a real appeal to having a home-like setting on wheels. You got a TV? Even 10-year-old Ella could see how things transform. It has two legs instead of one. Yeah. Does it turn into a bed? Probably. We usually do like the VRBO thing and go stay someplace nice, but it can be nice, but still kind of like camping. Turns out when much of everything else went by the wayside during the last three years of the pandemic, the virus was a reason for families and travelers to hit the road, Jack. So the office is now hitting the road too. RV sales and camping skyrocketed during the pandemic because it was one of the safest ways to still recreate and travel when you couldn't otherwise take a plane or go on a cruise ship. And in fact, manufacturers turned inwards, got creative, and offered not just the amenities of home, but the amenities of the office, like Wi-Fi. You want to be able to stay connected, watch your favorite movie. Solar power, again, without having to rely on a dedicated electrical service and a campground, allowed you still to have power for your unit and be able to travel in more rural areas and off-grid. It's more adventurous than popping into a hotel room. Way more adventurous than a hotel room. And if you just want to get your feet wet, you can also come to the show. It's open until Sunday and talk about renting. Christy, I just want you to look at this particular one. They've gone down from a V10 to a V8. It's so comfortable and so compact. Even my feet hit the pedals and I'm only five foot one. <laughs> and by the way, this particular unit is called a leprechaun. Okay, yeah, no, they're not calling me a leprechaun. It's $50,000 off for the show. It is under $100,000. Something here for a lot of different budgets. This is really great, Paula. You know, my experience with camping was a, a kind of a moldy smelling camper with an ant problem. So for me to see what looks like marble in the showers right? and four burners is blows me away. Listen, sister, I'm too old to sleep on the ground anymore. So if I'm going to go camping, I'm going to go glamping. <laughs> That's right. You and me both. I'll ride shotgun, Paula. All right. Thanks so much.